The Freedom of Information Law will most likely go into effect in January. That's when the governor is expected to sign the legislation. Then what? How do you get your hands on the information you need? This FOI user guide will help answer all of your questions. Freedom of Information user guide is really a very basic guide that explains some of the easy things that people need to know about FOI. So for example, how do I make a request? Is it in writing? Um, where do I send it to? Who do I send this request that I have to? Um, it breaks down those really simple questions to enable the public to be able to make an FOI request. We recognize that uh, people may know about freedom of information or know the word freedom of information, but do they really know how to make a request? Once you know how to make a request, figure out what information you want to get your hands on. We encourage everyone to go ahead and make requests. Information that they may want to know, they think they may know information that's kind of flourishing in the background is gossip and they want the facts about it. Apply to get that information. It's a lot easier when you have the facts than when you have gossip and heresy. A resident may want to request, for example, their own medical file. Um, they may want to see you know, what it is that talks about conditions that they have already or treatments that they received at the hospital. That's fine, they can make an FOI request for that. They may also want to find out information about schools or inspection reports at schools. How is the school I'm sending my child to doing? You know, what are the types of grades that people get or what's their achievements in sports? I mean, there's anything really that interests you. Um, it could be about why is, the port, why is there a new port development or you know, what, where will roads be put in or will roads be expanded, for example? I mean, anything that can interest you as a member of the public, really, you can make a request for. FOI provides a wide array of information to the public. However, government won't release certain things. You cannot reveal someone's personal information, and the law adequately protects that. So people shouldn't worry about having their privacy being invaded by this law. The law has protections to deal with that sort of information. It really is more about making government more accountable and transparent in the decisions that it makes that affects the public. Civil servants are learning what is and isn't covered under the FOI umbrella. There are 89 public authorities currently listed. Um, for each public authority, they need to have an information manager. The information manager is the person who's in charge of handling the FOI request within that authority. While it's all well and good, you have an information manager nominated, but if they're not trained and they don't fully understand the law, they won't be able to apply it properly. So what the information manager training course that we have developed actually has, it's a three-day intensive course for information managers and the designates, because of course FOI won't stop when an information manager isn't in the office, for them to learn in depth about the law, about the exemptions, the exclusions, the timelines, because there are mandatory timelines when they have to respond to a request, and so on and so forth. And it really makes them feel more comfortable. While we all have some familiarity with the law, because we don't have any practical experience in working with the law, it's good to hear from someone who has worked with it for many years, and our trainer has a wealth of knowledge that she's sharing with us, a lot of practical tips on how to handle difficult um, requests, um, some practical applications of the law and some examples of, of some of the um, tricky areas that we might get into when we implement the law. So for me, it's been an absolutely rewarding experience. It's a necessity. Here at GIS, information is our middle name. Staff members spend their days writing press releases and putting together our weekly television program. Here at GIS, we're really excited because we believe in the public having the information that they need and we believe that an informed public means a stronger country. But the important thing to remember is that you need to go to the right department to get the information. At GIS, most of our information is out to the public already. But for the public's purposes, it's important to go to the right department because then your request will not be delayed. If you would like to learn more about freedom of information, just log on to www.foi.gov.ky. You can also pick up a FOI user guide throughout Sunshine Week.